Now on BBC One, with a shock exit on the cards, all eyes are on Lady Triffitt as The Apprentice heads for the Surrey countryside. For five long years, entrepreneur, self-made multi-billionaire and powerhead Lady Jane Triffitt has been searching for just one competent SMT member. Shut it. Over those five years, tasks such as learning the five sacred heart goals Kim Jong <laughs> and signing up a parent on open day yes. have proved too difficult for many and they've become the latest victims of Lady Triffitt's scorn. Lady Triffitt, if I can just explain... Pathetic. Call yourself a leader. You wouldn't know leadership if it came up to you dressed as Barack Obama and slapped you in the face. Who, from this sorry lot, will become Lady Triffitt's... You're fired. You're fired. Apprentice. You're fired. The two teams, Team Marden and Team Mainhouse, have been decimated to only three members each. This week, Team Marden, led by team leader Julian Murphy. Dr. Julian Murphy. Sorry, sorry, Dr. Dr. Julian Murphy. Julian Murphy. Proved victorious in the fire alarm organization task. It was pretty straightforward, really, despite the incompetence of my teammates. At the end of the day, I smashed it 110%, and my natural fire alarm organisational skills came through. <laughs> Just proves that if you put someone properly educated in charge, you'll win through every time. Lady Triffitt has sent Team Marden off for their treat. I'm sending you to Croydon to the Wing Yip supermarket and then to watch Frozen. I saw this spiraling in frozen fractals all around. Team Mainhouse though, led by team leader Nick Waite, have not been so lucky and will instead have to discover their fate in the boardroom. You can send them in now, Liz. Good afternoon, losers. Good afternoon, Good afternoon, Lady Triffitt. Now, as far as I understand it, the fire alarm task was yet another <laughs> shambles. Yes, yes Lady, Lady Triffitt. Triffitt. Kids everywhere, a response time of well over 20 minutes, caretakers and firemen crawling all over the campus, half of Marden locked in the boarding house, screaming for their lives, and all because a year 10 put on some deodorant. Yes, yes Lady, Lady Triffitt. Triffitt. I can't even look at you anymore. Judy, Neil, can I have some feedback, please? To be honest, Lady Triffitt, this task has just confirmed to me that none of these three are particularly impressive members of the senior management team, but one is by far the most pathetic of all. I agree, Lady Triffitt. One of these three really needs to go, and I mean today. Nick, wait. wait. <sighs> yeah, Nick is totally the worst. Totally. Lady Triffitt, if I can just explain. Too late, shut it. What's wrong with him then? Too, Too nice. nice. He smiles all the time. We can't have that, not in the real world of business. Nick, what have you got to say for yourself? Well, Lady Trivet, fire alarms may be there to save lives, but they're also there for us to have fun. I mean, why not cheer everyone up by inviting the firemen in, even if they're not needed? And in the assembly task, my moonwalking and jokes were so much more interesting than the usual boring anti-bullying- Nick! Sorry. I heard enough of this dribble. Lady Triffitt, do your worst. Nick, I've heard enough. Your permanently upbeat attitude 
constant smiling, insistence on injecting fun into everything you do, and general Mr. Nice Guy approach is not going to cut it on this SMT. Lady Triffitt, if I can just explain. What do you think this is? A holiday camp? When was the last time you made someone cry? For goodness sake. Lady Triffitt, if I can just explain. Nick, without any regret whatsoever, you're fired. Yes, I was always too good for this place. I'm out of here. I'm off to Cambridge. So bitter. You are the two. Back to Marden and marketing with you. And do better next week, or you'll be next. Yes, Lady Triffitt. Nick's quest to remain an SMT member in the Valley comes to an end. But what have his colleagues made of his time in The Apprentice, SMT? I found his capacity for niceness disconcerting. But since we all know that Mr. Waite would never be fired, but in fact was promoted, here's what everyone really thinks of him. Hello. Mr. Waite, the department will see you now. I think the thing I'm going to miss about Nick the most uh, has to be uh, our football games on Monday nights, which were always great. Uh, him kicking badly at my ankles, uh, poorly timed tackles, um, always great, had a lot of fun. Uh, the thing I'm going to miss most about the football is actually Nick always, always chose the teams first. And he would always pick the best players on his side. And for that reason, I never played on Nick's side. Thanks, Nick. It's been amazing. Had a great time. Uh, wishing you all the best. And from the uh, obviously a better footballer talking to you, you know, you, you're 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 not bad. You, you did well. You you made some improvements over the last five years. I, I can see your your balance has improved. When that hammy wasn't going. When the hamstring, yeah. So the injuries are happening far too often now. It's really really time to say. Football, out the window, stop with the Nottingham Forest thing, nothing's ever going to happen. Um, just stick to the stick to the physics, mate, right? stick to the physics. You're done. Yeah, all the best. Give us, we've called you back so that you can explain the performance of the first 11 and the current coaching standards. We understand you're going for a promotion and we have some serious reservations. I heard that you turned up to a training practice in a suit. Not only is your timekeeping appalling, you are extremely over-emotional at matches, which looks like a little child throwing the toys out of the pram. And your lack of communication regarding your team sheets is terrible. Your cross-curricular knowledge of netball is shocking. And as for your performance on the school ski trip, your ski jumps need an awful lot more so Nicholas, the rest of SMT will be enjoying a luxury pound the weekend, but you are going to the Bridge Cafe in Cambridge. <laughs> now Mr Waite, as you know, likes a wee drink and when I first arrived here I couldn't believe how kind he was to me and he was always chatting on my door. And his favourite drinks are Diet Coke, ginger beer, water, <coughs> and Iron Brew, which is actually made in Scotland. Now that's his fav favourite drink. So Mr Waite, I hope that when you go to Cambridge, you will find the chaplain as generous as I am in giving you all the drink. The first week then, when I was here, I couldn't believe the highlight for me was, in fact, the big um, Interhouse concert, which took place in the auditorium. And the highlight, as I said, was Mr Waite doing some dance moves, which I had never seen in my life, and which I never hope to see again. And fair to say, just the weight of the baby. No 10 from Len um, for your moves on that particular night. Now, as Mr. Waite comes to the end of his time here at Woldingham, he would probably say, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. But in fact, the truth is, Mr. Waite, you're fired. Didn't really mean it. You've been a great right hand man and I'll miss you loads. Lots of love from me. I think now that Nick is leaving, I should really clear something up. There's a vicious rumour that Nick is, in fact, an imposter and he is really Rich O'Brien, the creator of that amazing musical The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Now Google it. Obviously there are similarities. Clearly a love of dance and also 
a lack of hair. However, the fact that Nick Waite and Richard O'Brien have never been photographed together, and also the fact that Nick Waite is leaving at just the same time that Richard O'Brien is launching his sequel to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, is, I am sure, just a coincidence. Having said all that, in all seriousness, obviously, I will miss Nick, I'll miss his humour, his professionalism, and really the sort of, just the joy that he brings around the school. So good luck, and I'm sure you'll be a great success. Hi, Nick. I don't know what to say. You've brought the assembly up to a whole new level. And now you're going, how on earth am I ever going to do that production of Annie without my daddy war bucks? Mm. Good luck. Keep in touch, Lynn. Nick's leaving. enough dear nick i didn't mean it either obviously uh kind of goes without saying um that i'll miss you loads and i wish you the best of luck in your headship nick all the best with your new venture in cambridge of course you're not better you couldn't be better if you tried have a fantastic future we'll miss you lots hi nick i'm really sorry about using the word pathetic i wanted them to change the script i love your assemblies and we'll miss you and the family so much. Have a great time in Cambridge. Lots of love. Hi, Nick. Of course, we weren't pleased you were fired. Those team members, Pete and I, were relieved. Seriously, <laughs> though, wish you all the very best in Cambridge. And you can never be too smiley. Take care. Lots of love. Nick, it's been a blast. Thanks very much for the last three years. Great advice from you. Every time I ask you a question, you still owe me some money from that White Leaf pub. But all the very, very best of luck in Cambridge. Good luck. So bitter.